Where is America's happiness meter these yeah. days? It's never been lower. Never been lower. Uh, there actually is a, ha a happiness index that measures the joy level of our society, and it's at an all-time low. The Harris Poll keeps a finger on America's mood and consistently finds two-thirds of people are feeling blue. It's like there's this perpetual cloud of grayness over our society. Yeah. As a pastor, does that seem about right to you? Because I wonder how much time you spend counseling people who are looking for happiness. Yeah, that resonates with, with my experience. Um, I think that, um, I think that for, for many people, uh, happiness is a very elusive idea. In his new book, How Happiness Happens, Pastor Lucado explains how people can find joy in a world of comparison, disappointment, and unmet expectations. I'm a big advocate for happiness. <laughs> I like it. I like to be happy. And you know, we're better when we're happy. Uh, we're healthier physically. Uh, our relationships tend to succeed more. Uh, and people won't be surprised to hear me say that we actually make more money when we're happier. Does God care about our happiness? Does He want us to be happy? Yes, He does. And I'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe <laughs> with anybody who says that God is in favor of grumpiness. There's like 3,000 references uh, to happiness in the Bible. To craft his recipe, Lucado examined all 50 of the Bible's one another verses, such as love one another, serve one another, accept one another, and condense them into 10. While some may sound brilliantly simple, they move the happy needle in a big way. Put into practice this idea of greeting people. I mean, just greet people. Take a moment and whenever appropriate, Give somebody a heartfelt hello. Ask them how they're doing. And pause long enough to get an answer. Lucado admits, though, some things we should do to maintain happiness can be difficult. Jesus said, forgive one another. Forgive one another, even as God in Christ has forgiven you. So the image there is to look at how God through Christ has forgiven us. Um, again, it's not easy, but I think that... Uh, Happiness begins to happen when we release the resentments that we have. Of course, everywhere we look, the world tells us the secret is material. Every time I'll turn on TV, I'm told that my car is uh, out of date, my clothes are out of style, and my phone is uh, not up to date. I mean, it's just boom, 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 boom. And if we're not careful, uh, we will say, oh, okay, if I purchase that, I'll be happy. And... When that happens, I'm setting myself up for this downward spiral of achieve or purchase and then realize, oh, that didn't make me happy. What God offers, Lucado says, is joy that's sustainable, even through the tough times. I'm going to anchor myself to the hope that God is good, God is in control, and I'm going to let that hope have its impact on me. So after reading the book, you'll face this challenge. Make 100 people happy over the next 40 days. Happiness happens when we give it away. So if a person could change their strategy toward happiness and make happiness depend not upon what they acquire, but upon who they serve and help and, and, and bless others, uh, they're setting themselves up for a door to happiness. Sounds like a challenge worth taking. Jennifer Wishon, CBN News.